I'm going to be talking about how I feel it's disrespectful, at least for me, to show a bunch of movie clips and just talk over it. I'm not trying to call out anybody. I'm not trying to like force anybody to change. I'm just saying my bias, my perspective, and why I don't think I want to do that. I feel clips or small little segments of a movie is absolutely amazing in order to bring context or to like explain jokes like what i usually do is like i i find a clip i find it's funny or something like that or like i can make a joke out of i show the full context and then i say a joke at the end and usually fit it into my little review but the more and more i got comfortable doing that the less and less i wanted to do that i wanted to just explain my review my consensus of the movie and like everything else just with my thoughts my words i I, I don't think like showing basically kind of spoiling and just um, freebooting in a way the movie to people is the right approach anymore. Not to say I ever did that. I was very transformative with my work, but at the same time, I feel I feel like I use too many clips at a time to where I'm just like, well, they they know like important parts of the movie or something like that and i i don't i just don't know how to feel about this i think it's fine right now because i'm not necessarily making any money off of this shit but what if there's a opportunity to where i do end up making money off of this then i feel it's going to be very messy and i am going to be kind of freebooting off of them in a way. And by them, I don't mean Walt Disney or whatever company, whatever like that. No one gives a shit about the companies. We, I care about the workers, the animators who are actually making this like movie come to life. The animators, the um, sound design artists, um, the musicians, the writers, everything like that. I care about that. Um, I feel like I'm sort of just stealing what they have in order to like obviously contextually talk about something but at the same time I'm stealing it regardless and if I'm gonna make money off of this I'm gonna be profiting off of that and I I don't I don't like that I'm a person who separates the workers from the company or the brand name the brand name is usually like stupid as fuck no one like they usually make bad decisions the head executives and everything like that but the workers get like the fall of that majority of the time and i i like separating that i think the workers are almost always in the right and they should be praised and you know the brand name the executive should be more criticized and everything like that and yeah it's sort of hard to separate the two when you know one works for the other but like i still try to do that because i'm a worker i recognize that you know i represent myself although i work for a company I, at the end of the day, um, am putting in the work they aren't doing what I'm doing. And so, therefore, I should be the one getting the praise. I should be the one getting paid more, obviously. And I don't know. I just feel like if if I'm talking about, like, a movie review or whatever like that, and I'm just stealing their clips, I feel I'm taking a part of their hard work and basically using their services for free and for personal gain i i don't like that and the reason why i oriented this video very differently and why i'm showcasing movie clips over my commentary is to basically show what i am doing i am <laughs> i'm not doing much all i'm doing is talking over clips and getting attention for that i is that really transformative? I watch a lot of reviews and a lot of video essays and majority of them are just trash. I can 100% say they are just 100% there for a paycheck. They're not there to really criticize or bring new thoughts or perspective to a review or like a product or anything like that. They're not there to do that. They're just there for a paycheck. And you know, at the end of the day, I don't really care, but like that's not really a thing I care about, I care to see. And so I end up drawing inspiration from people like, you know, Anthony Fantano or someone like Dead Meat. I feel those are some of the best reviewers ever. I know Dead Meat isn't like, um, they're not a reviewer or anything like that. They do like a kill count series, but like the way they do it, the way they go in depth and the way they just like respect the movie and the product and the production overall i think 
I would love to do that more. And that's what I'm sort of leaning into now that I'm getting a flow of like how I want my reviews to sound like. The way Anthony Fantano does it is that he basically like, you know, listens to an album, listens to a song. And um, from there, ooh, excuse me, from there, he talks about the song and he doesn't really like leak any snippets or anything like that. He wants you to check out the song to have your own perspective, your own view. And he just talks about his perspective and his biases and his criticism. And that is that is the lane I really, really want to go down into. And I want to do it in my own sort of fashion. I don't want to copy anybody else. I want my own channel to be very distinct, very me. And you can't get my like personality, my thoughts or whatever like that anywhere else. I have a huge respect to the teams behind movies all the animators, producers, writers, and everything like that, I have a huge respect for them because they are putting in countless hours of work in order to deliver us a product. And no matter how you see that, it's it's hard. It's work and it's it should be respected in my opinion. They are actually creating, they aren't doing something very simple like, you know, talking over TikToks. <laughs> Uh, sniper wolf. Uh. <laughs> They're putting creations out there to be shared, but not necessarily stolen. And um, I don't know. I guess I'm sort of like I'm gonna relate this to sort of like a piracy problem, to where like you know uh, the people who like pirate things. Oh, they were gonna pirate it anyway. So like you know, I'm gonna try to relate that to like a review. Like the people who were like watching a review or like the the type of reviews i'm talking about they weren't gonna watch the movie anyway so why does it matter but like i feel there's a way to illustrate your thoughts in a way that doesn't need like you don't spoil everything about the movie like reviews are just supposed to be little like sneak peeks and little thoughts and criticisms on everything you see about the movie it's not supposed to be the movie it's just supposed to be like you know you explaining like some plot points of the story and uh criticism blah blah blah, blah all stuff I already said that's what it's supposed to be i don't know i have matured and as i matured my content matured and i find myself my biggest strength right now is being able to be entertaining but also entertaining in the sense that you don't need to see what's going on in the video in order to really comprehend what's going on i guess because the target audience i am sort of aiming for is like 18 to you know 25 26 year old like my sort of demographic like that's what i'm aiming for and we are busy we don't have all the time in the world to like I don't know, watch videos, and, and so I listen to a lot of podcasts, a lot of reviews, a lot of videos in the background, and I definitely wanted that for my child, I think that was the best, that was the absolute best way for me to mature as a channel, because I've been on this platform making content for seven years now, and I'm in the sort of like more maturity phase to where I, I, I just want to like vibe and talk about the things I want and also talk about you know my stances on things and no matter what when I first started this channel my main goal was to not waste anybody's time and so if I can lead people into just you know playing me in the background not necessarily like watching what I have to say I mean excuse me uh watching like I don't know the visuals or anything like that I think that is the best suit even though you know I'm kind of pretty and you know if you want to look at me you know you can look at me in like 480p I don't know why this 1080p camera is just not acting 1080p but you know it is what it is at the end of the day maybe I'll upgrade maybe I won't maybe it's an aesthetic okay this is my aesthetic but yeah, I just want to sort of express my thought process on this and just sort of like show people where I'm coming from with my reviews, my future reviews and how I want to create content now because I want to talk about things and not like freeboot off of other people. Not saying anybody else does that or the people who like currently do that do it. It's just like it's how I feel personally. That's how I see myself doing it when I do it. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine and I'm 